Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today from the Build Divers line is the Master Grade Gundam H2 Magnum. Now this is a newly released kit, uh, came out last weekend, and you know what, there really hasn't been much hype around it, and I really can't wonder why, uh, maybe maybe it's probably because of the Master Grade Dynamis uh, that just released, that really overshadowed this uh, release at least in my opinion uh, so, but regardless you know I still picked it up because the age line is one of my favorite lines uh, in both high grade and master grade so what about this kit is this kit going to be in the same realm as the master grade age 2 uh, which had some minor flaws in the shoulders as well in the legs or is this going to be a revamp and something that is going to bring fresh new air to the Gundam age line well we'll go ahead and see in the review and this video is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com, so if you do want to pick up this kit or any other Build Divers kits, you can go to their website, put it in your cart, and use that promo code CROSAMA for 10% off. So, let's go ahead and move on to the review. So the first thing you're going to notice is I didn't use any of the marking stickers, nor did I do any panel lining on the kit. Uh, that's because I'm probably going to be painting this uh, maybe sometime during the summer. And this kit is going to have a lot of extra parts from the Master Grade H2 Gundam. Uh, that's just because this is what that kit is based off of. So you are going to have a lot of parts uh, for the shield. You're going to have parts for the legs, the shoulders, so on and so forth. And here's a look at all the markings is going to be for this kit. So if you are wanting to you know, decal this kit up, these are going to look pretty damn good. Uh, but just for me, like I said, I am playing to paint this, so it would have been a hassle to get all the stickers off. And you're gonna have these reflective stickers, so you're gonna have A for the top sensor on the camera, and you're gonna have B and C, that's gonna be for the eyes, and then finally D, which is going to be for the chest unit. And you're gonna have a couple more stickers, one and two being for the eyes, number three and four are going to be the front and rear camera. So we'll take a look at the head details. The main new parts are going to be the purple on the like front faceplate, as well as the white right there on the sides. Uh, also, the core eyepiece uh, where you put the stickers on, that is going to be new as well. The overall shape and aesthetics are going to look really damn cool. And then those V-fins are not going to require any kind of trimming. They're going to come very pointy as is. Now when looking at the body, everything is going to be exactly the same. So you are going to build this with the same exact runners as the H2. There's going to be absolutely no difference with this. And the chest will also have a cockpit gimmick. You just pull this part up, this piece up as well, this piece down, and you're gonna pull the pilot seat back down here. And yeah, I don't have a pilot in there actually. And that's just pretty much because they don't give you the champion as a pilot. Uh, it's actually Asamu. And you're going to have brand new parts for the shoulders, so this entire thing is going to be new. And it's actually a little bit more sturdy. It can hold the weight of the weapon a little bit better, and it's not going to droop down or anything of the sort. So this is actually pretty damn good. So with the original Master Grade H2 Gundam, uh, the shoulder peg had a lot of problems. Uh, mainly it was just on a polycap right inside there. Uh, so this is going to droop if you're trying to put it in any dynamic poses. It would just not hold the um, the weight of the Hyper Dodge rifle. So lots of problems there. And even if you plug it in, sometimes it just did not have a stable connection. So that was the main gimmick is that this little peg is going to pu uh, pretty much plug into the side of the body. Uh, but regardless, you know, I think I think it's a mass improvement on these shoulders. So the shoulder armor is actually going to be completely new, uh, both the purple parts as well as the white. So the rest of the arm is actually going to remain the same as the Master Grade H2, but the wrist armor, that purple piece, is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's just a new part. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it's the size because it actually shares the same exact functionality and gimmick, so nothing really new there. So looking at the waist, the only thing that's going to be brand new on here is going to be the front skirts, uh, but actually not the yellow pieces. Those are going to be carried over, but the armor is going to be changed and then they are just going to be slightly adjusted. So for the legs, everything below the knee, all that white armor all the way down to the feet is going to be brand new parts. But the thighs and the kneecaps are all going to be the same and most of the inner frame in the calf and thigh. Now let's move on to articulation.
So this kit aces the articulation department. Honestly, the only issue I've had is going to be with the shoulders. I wish the peg was a little bit longer just to reach inside uh, the joint and it's going to have a little bit better friction because uh, right now I believe it's a little bit too short so the arm is going to pop off quite frequently at least for my kit but the legs are fine no issues with that it can definitely hold its own it can hold some good poses and it's going to be very sturdy so with that guys let's move on to the accessories so you are going to have a little mini figure of the champion Cujo you're going to have these interchangeable fists these expressive hands two of these trigger fingers one for each hand and these grabbing hands is going to be for the beam sabers and next we're going to have is the F funnels, which are highly inspired by the C funnels from the Gundam Age FX. Uh, this is going to be pretty neat. I do love the translucent blue right here, which looks pretty damn good. It's going to have its own little articulation as well as a little handle right here because you can utilize this as a melee weapon. You can also mount them on the shoulders like so. And the articulation here is essentially going to be a rotation and a side to side movement. Now if you want to use like a melee weapon, you're just going to use that trigger finger right here and then just plug it right into the hand. Now you are going to get four of these little gray connecting pieces. Uh, so this is going to be used when it's in this like more funnel mode. So I connect it to this little adapter that's going to go to the playing base. And all you're going to do is just slide it right there. And it's going to be compatible with like the action base four as well as maybe some of the Figma stands. And next we're going to have is the Hyper Dodge Rifle Magnum. Now this is going to be a pretty damn nifty little rifle. Uh, a lot of the parts on the inside is going to be the same, but obviously the purple all, all around here, as well as the white is all going to be brand new parts. So not really too much that's going to be reminiscent of the original Hyper Dodge Rifle, but it is still, still going to have kind of the same aesthetics, uh, but it is going to have some clear green right inside there, which is going to look very good. It's also going to be able to plug in right in the back skirt and to use the rifle you're going to plug the connecting point into the wrist that way you have a little bit of extra stability and then obviously the trigger finger is going to plug into the handle Next is going to be the beam saber, so you just take it out from the back side, as well as the short dagger one. And the last weapon and accessory is going to be the Shugudu Shield. Uh, so with this is going to be a very nice translucent blue, uh, pretty much like the other funnels. And that's pretty much about it. Not really any articulation is going to go in this, but this will also act as a funnel. So if you want, you can kind of like mess around with it and have this act as a funnel. But for the most part, it's not going to have any attachments that can plug into any action bases. And this also plugs into the forearm on either arm. Now with covering all the accessories, let's move on to the transformation.
So I forgot to mention this part in the articulation, but this actually comes out, but they don't reference it anywhere in the manual. So for this part, you are going to need to put these hands on these peg parts while putting this part underneath it. And honestly, it's a lot, it's a, to me it's a lot of work. So I just omitted this because you're really not gonna see that anyways. And it's gonna connect in there very smoothly. And here is the Phoenix mode. So obviously this is by far one of my favorite transformations of any transformable mobile suit, but, and there's a pretty big but, the transformation on the Master Grade is quite a headache. Uh, and a lot of times it's going to be parts on the shoulder, it's going to be the hands clipping into the legs, uh, the hips you know, connecting into the front skirts. It, a lot of it's just gonna have a lot of issues. So, I mean, yeah, it does look really good, but I would say definitely prepare for a pretty meh, minor chaotic transformation sequence. But if you can handle all that, you are going to have a pretty cool piece on your shelf. Um, that's if you're going to go ahead and keep it on your shelf in the Phoenix mode. And you also have these to utilize as landing gears. And as long as it's on a smooth surface, it can definitely hold itself up. And here he is next to the Master Grade H2, the H2 Double Bullet, and the H2 Dark Hound. So for my final thoughts, I can tell you on the positives, well, this kit is going to look beautiful. It has uh, quite a few accessories, especially with the F-Funnels, uh, to where you can actually put it into quite a bit of poses, and it's gonna keep yourself very busy, so I would say like whenever you put it on a shelf, you're always gonna wanna go back to it, and maybe change up the pose, especially if you have a nice little stand. Also, the articulation is going to be really good, so uh, whatever you are putting in these poses, it is actually going to be able to maintain uh, quite a bit of poses, but the one thing I've noticed is that sometimes the weapon might be a little bit too heavy, so you have to kind of, you know, tighten up the joint uh, to the shoulder so that way it can actually hold it. Uh, but for the most part, it's not really gonna be bad. So for the cons, I'm definitely going to say that the transformation as well as the shoulders are just going to be hindering it quite a bit, at least on my end. Uh, so I had a lot of problems with the shoulders and I definitely did not enjoy the transformation gimmick. Whereas some kits, uh, whether high grade or master grade, I actually do enjoy the transformation. You know, maybe it just takes a few more times for me to do it because I've only transformed it about two to three times, uh, about like two and a half times. So maybe if I do it a couple more times, I might, you know, really enjoy it. It's not difficult whatsoever. It's just that some of the parts are very loose with the joints, um, namely, like I mentioned, the hips connecting to the side skirts. That's gonna not really hold at all. But regardless, I do still think this is a great kit, and I may, I may have to say that the price point being around $65 is a little bit too high for my taste. But, you know, if you do find it for like less than $55, I would say definitely go ahead and grab it. But regardless, if you do want it, you know, don't don't even care about the price tag, you can find it over at newtypehq.com. Use that promo code, get 10% off, and you know, if you if you really want it, it's definitely gonna be worth it. It's gonna be awesome on the shelf. And I really hope this is going to be an introduction to more Build Divers kits because I actually do like some of the Build Divers kits, namely the Double O Divers. So with that guys, definitely appreciate you for watching, and like always, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be seeing you in the next review. Bye-bye.